All right, so we can then go ahead and click on clean up and we have the option to remove failed proxies, but this is typically for open proxies to scrape with scrape box, which I'll cover in a different video. But if I had a, but I've had a few bad proxies from a private proxy provider before, and all you need to do is just contact them and let them know that you've got some bad proxies and they should replace those proxies for you with no problem. The remove duplicate proxies and remove failed, but keep blocked IP also only really applies to open proxy scrape through scrape box. And then our last option is to filter out high latency proxies. And with your private proxy.com, those proxies are already lightning fast. They are pretty much under 500 milliseconds. And I highly recommend your private proxy.com, not just because of the speed, but because they already know about us scrape box users and they welcome us with open arms. So I recommend them. But the purpose of this video was for me to give you all of your options. And I'll be doing that throughout all of these modules. I'll explain everything and I'll leave it up to you to choose what it is that you want to do. Anyway, back to the access time for Proxy Bonanza. Like I said, with private proxies, you generally don't have to worry about filtering out high latency proxies. You'll get a few proxies with a latency in the thousands, but it ain't nothing like the open scrape proxies. I've seen those open proxies with a latency as high as 25 seconds, which leads us back to a best practices tips. If you think the scrape box is harvesting too slow or if it's failing, if it's failing with a 404 error code, it could be because your proxies are too slow, as I said before, and you need to adjust the maximum connection settings as well as your timeout settings. But there's an entire module on tweaking your settings and increasing the speed of scrape box within the scrape box universe section. So I'm not going to go into that right now, but if you're getting a lot of error 404 messages, one of the first things that you want to try to do is click on cleanup, filter out high latency proxies, and you can filter proxies by access time. The default is 2000 milliseconds. Let's try to take that all the way down to the minimum, which is 500 milliseconds. And then you can try scraping with only your fastest proxies and see if that helps. Now, we can use the same steps that we just used for the SOX5 proxies for the HTTP proxies. But with the HTTP proxies, you don't need the S at the beginning. We only need the username and password at the end. So first, we need to choose HTTP above the proxy IP and copy those proxies from our proxy provider. In this instance, it's Proxy Bonanza. Now let's head on over to Scrapebox. Then I'll press Control plus T to bring up the scrape boxes text editor control plus a to highlight them all. I'm going to delete that going to press control plus V to paste in my proxies. And I'm only going to highlight the colon plus the port number, because remember that when we put the S in front, that's only for our socks proxies. So now I'm going to press control plus R. And I'm going to press Control plus C to copy the string in the find what box. And I'm going to press Control V to paste that into the replace with box. I'm going to enter a colon plus my username plus another colon plus my password. And then I'm going to press Alt A for replace all. And I'm going to press Control S to bring up my save dialog box. Let's navigate to where I save all my proxies at and then let's save it. And let's exit out of the scrape box editor. Let's press load. Let's load our list. Let's double check to make sure that our IP test box is checked. And lastly, let's test our proxies.